Hola mis Anabelas and welcome back to another video. So today's actually a pretty exciting video because you guys can already see by the title of it, but I actually got my license. I am so happy that I finally have my license. You know what? I think a lot of people like to maybe like look down on you when you don't pass on your first time, but I I passed on my third try. So I passed um, October 19th, 2021. And as of the recording this video, it was just a couple of days ago, but I know that this video will go out a little bit later um, after. But I was so, so happy when I passed. And like I've said, you guys, I have been waiting for this for such a long time. And I decided why not look for a car together? The thing is, I'm definitely not going to buy a car today. But I am going to browse for like, what kind of cars look awesome? You know, what kind of cars would be good? They're fuel vision. They, you know, have a good price and all of that. And I'm super excited just to like car window shop. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go online. We're going to look at a couple of um, websites. And I do know for a fact I'm going to be looking at one car in particular. I do know that. Now, as you guys might know, there's one car that is always on my list but it is my dream car which i am not going to be getting for quite a while i would say you know definitely not until i'm at least a couple years out of college um but that is a g-wagon that is the dream car that i hope i can get one day you know work up to it the g-wagon but for right now what i'm thinking of is getting like a tiny car for me because honestly it's probably just going to be me most of the time um, once I am, you know, going to transfer and all of that, it's most likely just going to be me. Um, so for sure, I'm kind of looking for like a tiny car. And when I think of tiny cars, you know exactly what kind of car I look at. The Fiat Mini 500. You know those tiny little cars? And I think the most recognizable, distinguishable one is like the mint green, mint blue one. I love that car. So we're going to look around just shop around look around see what we can find um but i know that that car is definitely on the list of we might have to get that car because that's a good tiny car and it, like i said it's tiny like it's pretty tiny i think it only fits like two people in there it might fit four people in there but it's tiny it's good for me but without further ado let's stop dragging this on and let's start looking okay so Let's just um, ignore the fact that I am at 50% battery, okay? Like, let's just not even pay attention to that. Okay, so... Hmm. I know that I am going to most likely look at, like, CarMax. I have looked before, but, you know, I've never found anything really... Like, I don't spend enough time looking whenever I'm looking. Like, whenever I look, I'm just looking... If that makes any sense. So we're going to go to CarMax. Because I like CarMax. And oh yeah, I forgot to say. I don't want to buy like a brand new car. I do want to buy like a used car. Um, but like a car that was used well. Like it's not going to be like, you know, 100,000 miles. Because I definitely don't want that. That's like a, like no. So let's see. Like I said. I am looking at Fiat, so we're going to look at a Fiat. I think it's a Fiat 500. Yeah, these are the tiny cars that I'm talking about. Like, these cars right here. That's the tiny car that I'm talking about. Like, that's the car I'm looking for. Um, so we're just going to look. And they're also, like I said, since they're tiny, they also do tend to be kind of on the cheaper side, which I do like. Um... Wait a second. Mm, okay. So. This one kind of... Here's the thing. I really like the mint ones. Like, I've, I kind of always wanted a mint one. But at the same time, I've always been a fan of white cars. 
white cars are something that I love. Like, when I eventually do get my dream car, if I ever get my dream car G-Wagon, I do want it to be, like, white. I, I want a white car. But I've always, also always said I, I do want a pink car, too. So, I mean, you know. But this is the kind of car that I am looking at. So, we got, like, a 2012 Fiat 500 Sport. This one, I think, has way too many miles. If you ask me, they both have way too many miles. Um, but this one right here, that's actually a pretty good one. 46,000 miles, which, you know, still a lot, but it's got a life, you know. Wait a second. You see that? 12,998, 46,000 miles. 12,998, 35,000 miles. We're going to take a look at this one. It is gray. All right, all right. Oh, interesting. I love that you can do that. All right, let's see inside. See the driver's seat. This is really cool that you can kind of just do this. And there's also literally a CarMax, like, five minutes from my house so it's honestly really convenient but at the same time it's taking very long carmax let's just look at all the images that's what we're gonna do that's what we are gonna do i don't know i kind of think that's kind of cute like just like the controls and everything and the wheel of course i think it's pretty cute all right so in the inside of this one it's like tan See, I don't really know how I want the inside of the car to be. Obviously, I'm going to have to settle for something since these car these cars have already been made. They've already been used and all of that. So this one is silver on the outside. Got tan and black on the inside. Hold on. I like that. I like the... Okay, that's nice. Mm, so the seats of this one are also tan and black. I find that kind of weird how it splits, like the color splits, but okay. I don't mind too much. All right. It's cute. I do like it. The keys are, <laughs> I like the keys too. Oh, so this one does have a four, so this is a four seat. You could fit four people if you really wanted to fit four people. And it's got a nice little, like, trunk. Okay. Cute. I like it. I do like this car a lot. I do like it. Yeah, I like the car. It's good. So let's look at other versions, I guess. This one's good. Is it silver or is it kind of, like, silver white? It's silver, but it kind of looks white from some... Areas. I like it. So 12,998, 35,000 miles. I like it. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So in total, it would be 13,098 once you add taxes and then you put you know the down payment okay i like it this is a nice cart so i like this one yeah all right let's keep on looking so i think it goes by these are the ones closest to me and then it goes like these are the ones farthest for me because i know that these ones are up north all right yeah look Colorado, Oregon. Yeah, so we're going to stop right there. Although I do know that these are up north. Is this like the same version? Let's check this one out. Oh, this one's different a little bit. Okay. This one's pretty nice too. Oh, this one's like all black on the inside. That's nice. I like it. It's like the same car, just, you know, all black inside. I like it. 
Okay, so I think we found something that, who knows? We'll see when I do end up buying a car, but I do like the one that I saw over here. Where is it? That one right there. That one was the nicest one I think I saw. The 2013 Fiat 500 Pop, 12,998, 35,000 miles. I like that one a lot. That one's a nice one. Next, I think we're going to go to Carvana. I think that's where we're going to go. Um, let's check there, see what they have. All right, so we're also just going to look for the same car, honestly. Let's see. Can I just search a car? Shop used cars. Okay. We're also going to look for the Fiat 500 here. All right. So let's look. Oh, interesting. So they go from, so here they change it. They put them in different sections. So 2012, 2013. Then there's a pop and a lounge. I like the pop. All right, so we're going to look at this one, the 2013. Whoa, this one is a no. Do you see how many miles that has? Uh, one, oh, 121,473? No, thank you. We are not. We are not. My God. I also just realized, you guys, that was not Carvana. So we're leaving that. We're going to Carvana. <laughs> okay, now we're going to Carvana. Yeah, so we're going to look for the Fiat 500. Let's see what they recommend to us here. Yeah, I really do like the Fiat. Did it even load? Did it even go through? All right, now we're going through. Okay. Ah, let's see. Hmm. These prices, you guys, compared to like CarMax, are really expensive for the amount of miles they have in comparison to the ones from like, from CarMax. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Let's do... Hmm. Let's see. Let's do price. Let's see. Okay, so let's go from zero, 114,000 for, nah. So we're gonna change it here. We're gonna go to like, let's say, let's say 15,000. And let's see what happens. I feel like these just have way too many miles for their price. Like there was one for 12,000. Wait, this one's 12,000, has 15,000 miles. Wait a second. That's like really good. Hold on a second. Uh, let me check this out. That's really good for this one. This is a stock image. So this is not the actual car. But that's really good. 15,000 miles for basically the same price as the other one, which had 35,000 miles. That's pretty good. Piano Villas. So because of that, I'm just gonna end it right there. I think this is pretty fun, kind of going car hunting a little bit with you guys. So now you guys kind of know the realm that I'm in. I am definitely looking for a Fiat 500, those tiny little cars. That's the kind of car that I think I'm gonna go for. Um, it really, like I said, is perfect. It's really tiny. Um, which would be perfect for me being just me 
and they're not too expensive which again also really great and i'm super excited because once i get a car you know we can finally go on all these trips and do all these videos just ourselves and it'd be really fun and great to finally get to do it i've been waiting for such a long time and i'm just so happy that i now have my license um that we can now do this so i hope you guys are as excited as i am and when the car buying process does start i'm excited to bring you guys along and then of course show off the car show you guys all about it and i'm excited i hope you guys really are too but other than that thank you guys so much for joining me just want to let you all know that the channel memberships are starting back up so as the channel has started to ramp back up videos from members are also ramping up and they will be starting to go out and theirs will start with new episodes of the podcast we're finally doing the podcast once again it has been a really long time but we are finally going back to doing the podcast and i am so happy and excited for that you guys and hopefully soon actually we might have a couple of guests and by guests i do mean some friends of mine and i think it's really great to have you know people who have maybe just a different opinion than yours kind of come on and you can have a discussion with them and i do have a lot of friends who have you know very different opinions than i do and it'd be great to have them on the podcast hopefully soon um but we will see and hopefully our setup is also going to start changing as well but i hope you guys are as excited as i am because i definitely am but other than that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time adios anabelas <laughs> Walking ain't screaming my name, bitch